Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So today I just wanted to do a quick look at this awesome setup that myself and my friend Phil's Doodles has been working on. So this is the swine apple image, essentially, with the swine apple theme. So this is a little personal build that I have been working on for quite some time now, it seems. Seems like this has been going on forever. Um, and at the same time, Phil Doodles has been helping me out with this custom theme, which you, if you don't know what a swine apple is, hey, you know, it, it was born out of, uh, you know, some, some joking around in a stream one night and just kind of caught on. So I really dig the style of this theme, the way Phil had set this up. It, it just, it really speaks to me if you know what I'm saying. So my biggest thing with working on an image like this, and this is only a 32 gigabyte image, um, I really, I, I, I play games on my Raspberry Pi, but I mostly, 99.9% .9 of the time, am playing arcade games. And I'm actually working on a new version of this that's arcade only, but I did want to do a kind of little nice all-in-one, but have a nice solid set of arcade games. So you see here, there are over a thousand arcade games, and I have gone through these multiple times ensuring they work setting bezels and shaders and stuff just to just to kind of have everything looking snazzy making sure we got our our artwork and all that stuff and you know there's a lot of games that some people have had problems with in the past and it just depends on the emulator the rom some configuration settings some things like that so i really made it a point to go through and identify problem child games and, and try to make sure i could find settings and and versions of them that work just fine uh, you know so there's a handful of them that not everybody has an issue with but some people have found issues getting them to work you know tapper or even little glitches we discovered some glitches with Galaga 1942 altered beast there was some craziness going on there um, you know and then there's a lot of other little games that people have issues with uh, not everybody but I've seen it brought up a lot like demon front certain things like that having issues finding working versions and i went through and made sure everything on here works and you know we had a few issues here and there and those were resolved and taken care of uh and you know really with this being about a thousand arcade games i've been continually working on a configuration file for arcade games which i try to use whenever i'm working on something but as you guys may know when you have you know newer versions of MAME, even if you know MAME 2003, 2010, FB Alpha, or FB Alpha 2012, if any of those have updates, a lot of times you lose compatibility on arcade games because they need different ROM sets and, and things like that, depending upon what version of MAME or FB Alpha they are. So that is a big headache that a lot of people have had to deal with in the past. So going through this has been crazy just trying to keep up and get all the arcade games set up properly and it works and the configuration file can be used and you know ported over to another another image or another you know project and and start from there but then you know you may need tweaks down the road and whatnot which it, it kind of sucks but it is what it is it's the nature of this hobby so it's an ongoing project making sure you have working arcade games typically with the other systems you know super nintendo and stuff like that you're, you're pretty much good you know you might find a problem child here and there but arcade is something that is just it's it's crazy to work with and try to ensure even half of that amount of games work properly so that was that was very time consuming for me but i also enjoyed doing it so that was a lot of fun and then like i said we do have some of the standard old school consoles Atari 2600 with 306 games boom 7800 with 57 daphne with two games dragon slayer and dragon slayer 2. the reason i don't really like putting a lot of daphne games on an image is because they take up a lot of space a lot of space and this is only 32 gigabytes so just getting those two on there plus the rest of these games is kind of a feat you know what i'm saying Famicom Disk System, we got 79. Game Gear 255. 
Game Boy 544, Game Boy Advance 989. Typically, you see Game Boy Advance with over a thousand, and that's usually because of the double packs, triple packs, quadruple packs, all that kind of stuff. That's just kind of duplicates. So I typically don't use that. I've sifted through Game Boy Advance several times and make sure I have a solid set that I like to use. Game Boy Color 528, Master System 270. Genesis 554, Nintendo 64 only got three, Mario Kart, Mario 64, and Smash Bros, and those all work just fine. Neo Geo, 140, and as you can see, Neo Geo is pretty solid with the artwork. I'd done a video on this previously using the Universal XML Scraper, and that is what I used to ensure the artwork looked as best as it could be. Sometimes that's going to be hit and miss with certain games, but as you see, like, a lot of these systems, Neo Geo, for example, boom, just came out beautiful. Same thing with Nintendo for the most part. Nintendo, we got 777 games. Neo Geo Pocket 8, Pocket Color, which I just love. I had the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and I loved a lot of those games. We got 37. Turbo Graphics 16, we got 94. Typical, usually see 93 or 94 games on the Turbo Graphics, so there you go. PlayStation 21, several of them are going to be taken up by discs. Uh, so there are, you know, multi-disc games on here. Parasite Eve and Final Fantasy VII. And then going forward, 32X, we got 31 games. SG-1000, we got 62. Super Nintendo, 763. Looking nice. Virtual Boy, 22. Pretty fun. Some of those games are pretty cool. And then some collections. Capcom's going to be all the CPS stuff. These can be hidden very easily. Um, I just like doing that to kind of customize the way I want my, my setup to look. Castlevania. We got a bunch of Castlevania games, all with a custom bezel from, you know, our boy Phil's doodle. So that that's pretty sweet. CPS 1, 2, and 3. Mega Man. We got a bunch of Mega Man games from NES, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, so on and so forth. Even the, the, the arcade games, pretty cool stuff. Metal Slug, got all the Metal Slugs and the Game Boy Advance ones on there. Neo Geo Pocket, Street Fighter, all, this, all the Street Fighter games from all the systems and arcade. Custom collections, you'll have, you know, if, if a theme doesn't support a collection and you made a collection, it puts it in the custom themes or custom collections, I mean, if you have, if that's supported on that system. A lot of times some of these themes will not have a logo for that, but most of them nowadays do, so that's nice having that set up that way. You can easily add or take away these these kind of collections if you don't want to see them there. They're not taking up space because they're not duplicate ROMs. They're just like favorites almost. So all games, this is listing it at 6,546 total. Favorites, you can add favorites. I just got a handful of stuff that I wanted to check out. Last play, it's just going to list everything that you previously played. And then back to arcade. So I, I think this is a pretty sweet little setup. Just wanted to share you know, this hard work, show you guys what's up. I, I dug working on this, and I'm going to continue you know, showcasing you know, themes and stuff like that and different things that you can do within RetroPie, the Raspberry Pi, so you can get an idea of what you could do yourself or different ways you can customize images that you have. And, you know, just that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share this with you guys. Appreciate you stopping in, taking a look. Smash that like button if you could. Really would appreciate it. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Boom!